Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm doing this because I'm excited that we've got a drugstore haul. That's that's all, really. <laughs> uh, it's your girl Jen Scene, aka Jungle Naps. And if you're brand new to my channel and you love beauty reviews for women of color, tutorials, hauls, then girl, you're in the right place. So go ahead and subscribe. I upload three times a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And I also live stream, so you want to make sure that you turn on your notifications. So as the title of the video says, this is a drugstore haul. I meant it to be mainly one brand, but I actually got something else from another brand as well. So this will be mostly Black Radiance products. I really just kind of want to, you know, check out more of what their brand has to offer. I've actually only used about two of their products in the past. I've used their pressed powder in Ebony, and then I've also used their self-matching foundation. And if you've seen my video on that, you know that it was a disaster, a complete disaster. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's get on to the first product. So the first one that I have here, this is the Black Radiance Perfecting Brow Pomade. And this reminds me of Benefit Cabrow. I've never tried it, but it looks exactly the same. And I have yet to find a really, really good drugstore brow product that doesn't leave my brows looking like harsh, you know what I mean, and unnatural. So I'm gonna step out of my comfort zone and I'm gonna go ahead and try this one. This is the shade Blackish Brown. This is the only one that I actually saw when I went to Walgreens and I do have my receipt right here so you guys can tell I did purchase this myself. Um, yeah, this is the only color which is really strange. I'm sure they have other colors online, but it turns out that it's perfect for me. Next up, I've got this Revlon product, and this is a really cool lip gloss. It's in the shade Rose Future. I don't really have my glasses on, so I can't see what it says on the bottom. <laughs> this is kind of sad. Oh, I do see it. Okay, yes. It says Rosy Future. That's what it's called, okay? Rosy Future. <laughs> um, but it is just this really beautiful peach pinky kind of colored gloss and what I really want to do is I want to take this with my MAC chestnut and combine it I feel like this would be the most beautiful like brownie nude rosy color I just like I have a good feeling about it it was speaking to me at Walgreens so I was like girl you gotta get this it's just your basic regular gloss formula nothing special it's not matte so um, yeah I will be doing a tutorial with these products in the future so you want to make sure that you keep your eyes peeled for them also side note if you guys like my makeup because uh, I'm really feeling these eyes today I did a mini Instagram video tutorial so if you don't follow me on Instagram uh, go ahead and head on over and you can always check it out and see what products I use moving on I saw that black radiance has this like mousse foundation and it's called their color perfect HD mousse foundation and this is in the color toffee and this was the darkest like a uh, yellow undertoned foundation that they had so I'm really hoping that it's a good fit for me I think it is but I really like it because it's moussey in here and it does dry down to a matte formula and from the looks of it when I did swatch it last night it looked like it was more of like a light to medium uh, foundation but uh, we're gonna see if we can build this up when I do the tutorial so also something to note when I was at Walgreens I did see that the foundation here they did have some red undertone shades so if you're somebody that has a lot of like just you know a red undertone then that might also be a really good option for you I found that the golden undertone that they had there were kind of lacking. I really do hope that they have a lot more shades online, but just at the drugstore, they only had like three golden ones, and I was like, ooh, like there's a big like shade gap between each of these, you know? So let's just keep our fingers crossed and hope that this one works out. Now, moving right along, I got their cream contour palette, and I'm super excited about this one, guys, because I basically only have one cream contour 
product that I use and it's the Anastasia uh, palette that they have. I found that that one just matches my skin tone the best. But this one here, it really looks promising. And when I open it up, just like look at this. So this is the bronzer cream and this is the um, highlighting or concealer cream, which I would love it if this would be a good match. I'm just hoping that it pairs well with uh, this foundation, but we'll see, you know, we'll have to see. And then also the highlighter is bomb looking. Like I love me a gold looking highlight. So here are the swatches of these three shades. Now you have the contour and then the sculpt in the middle and also the illuminate. So the Illuminate is supposed to add warmth to the face, around the cheeks, nose, and chin, so your basic highlighting areas. Then I went out and I got the a Black Radiance blush here. This just looks so pretty, you guys. This is in the shade Toasted Almond. Have you guys tried blushes from Black Radiance? Because I want to know how are they. I don't really know. I've never tried them before, but it just looks like it'd be such a pretty shade. Ooh! Oh my gosh, that swatch on the skin, it's beautiful. And it blends out so nicely. I'm really excited. This could be my new go-to blush. The Toasted Almond seemed like it was the one that was the most natural looking. The other ones were like really like too bright for me. I'm more of like a natural blush kind of person and those looked like they were just gonna be like bam like on anyone's face <laughs> so I kind of just stayed away from them and went with this color and um, it just looks gorgeous gorgeous they did a really good job with this one so since I got the cream contour palette I was like well I can't just leave it at the cream you know I gotta go with their powder one so I have the medium to dark powder contour palette and looking at these colors here we've got the bronzer we've got the uh, like sculpt powder and then also the highlight and all three of them look like they're gonna be amazing so basically these are going to pair really really well with the cream products you always want to set your creams with a powder so that they stay in place during the day and they don't move around um, and I'm so excited oh I just sorry guys I'm obsessed with highlighter I can't just like not swatch the highlighter it looks just so pretty oh yeah and it's actually really subtle I'm surprised I thought it was gonna be like really in your face it looks really really subtle and this one here is the black radiance pressed powder you guys can see it right here and this is the shade bronze glow okay you guys so I've used their pressed powders uh, I've used the one ebony as a powder um, bronzer in the past and it was so good it was so amazing until one day I dropped it and it shattered all over my beauty room and it broke my heart so this time I was like okay you know I already have a lot of powder bronzers so I won't repurchase ebony just yet but I did want to try using this as just a regular face powder so this one was the like darkest golden undertone that I could find the other ones had like pinkish and reds in them so I didn't quite want to go for those um, but I think I think it's gonna be a decent match hopefully I don't know if it'll last through the end of the summer because I will get a lot darker but let's keep our fingers crossed shall we <laughs> so I'm really interested to know if you guys have used black radiance products in the past so whether you love them or you hate them or you're just like meh it was okay let me know down in the comments below um, I always want to know like what products you guys love what products you guys um, are not feeling it's just it's interesting to me so if you guys really love hauls don't forget to check out my haul playlist uh, I've got a lot of really cool hauls in there from the past and also the uh, just recent Sephora VIB sale so if you haven't seen that make sure to go ahead and check it out and thank you guys for hanging out with me today I will see you guys in the next video bye